Beautiful, Priscilla. Would you like to come down with me while George Carlin has a few words? Oh, yeah. Oh. George Carlin. Thank you. Yeah, I got a few words for you. Yeah. <laughs> what I like about words, and I promise to do this in as few words as possible. I give you my word. And my word is my bond. And since I'm from New York City, you know how much my bonds are worth. <laughs> trying to think of which words I would like to talk about, I thought maybe I might just start with hello. hello. I mean, that's always been a good luck word for me. Works every time. Hello. 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 Of course, when you're here, you have to say it inside out. Hello. Ha. <laughs> now, most of the words I like to fool around about about are just little words, insignificant words, but they're words I'd like to change. Somehow the language could use improvement. The word tennis seems wrong. I mean, it would be a fine name for the game if 10 people played it. But no, what is it? Tuis. Occasionally mixed forests. Daughter. Daughter should mean your second born girl child. Dot, daughter, daughtest. <laughs> I think hernia should be his near. <laughs> I think arthritis should be arthrongus. I think migraine should be your grain. <laughs> That's the only reason people get migraine headaches is personal identification. I must have it. It's my grain. If they were called your grains, everyone else would have them. Do you have a headache? No, you do. <laughs> there is one set of words that, that bothers me. Flammable, inflammable, non-inflammable. Why are there three of them? I mean, it seems as though two words ought to be able to handle that concept. Either the thing flams, or it doesn't flam. <laughs> One of the newest of the bothersome words has been given us by the airlines. Deplane. I've never deboated. Never been asked to debus. But I've deplaned. We'll be deplaning through the forward door. But I'm already on deplane. Then, of course, there are the words that I can't even say on TV. The bad words. <laughs> That's one of the things we call them. There are many ways to describe them. In fact, we have found more ways to describe dirty words than there are dirty words themselves. Seems a little ludicrous to me. We call them bad words. Dirty. Filthy. Foul, vile, vulgar, street talk, gutter language, barracks talk, locker room, salty, bawdy, naughty, raunchy, rude, <laughs> off color, <laughs> blue, lewd, risque, suggestive. <laughs> Profane, obscene, indecent, cursing, cussing, swearing. Imagine all of those words describing dirty words. And all I could think of were seven of them. <laughs> that is... That, that is to say seven that you can never say on television. There are some words that are only dirty part of the time. 50% dirty words. Darn it. Darn it is a euphemism for damn it. Darn it is when you want your sock fixed. <laughs> damn
damn it, is when they didn't do it on time. <laughs> Darn it, damn it! Well, I'd just like to end by saying thank you. Two words I know that I can use, and gosh be with you.